Yo, what's up guys? New video, very short one. Pulled a new LD5. And I think I got the worst LD5 in the game. I never really looked at this unit. Didn't really know. I kind of knew what she did. But I pulled this from one scroll yesterday. I called out Chinti and Dashing in the chat. I put did one scroll and I got this. I was like, oh. Okay, I know she's bad, but I didn't notice she was that bad. Well, let's first of all, first of all, currently you can actually check skills of all units. So let's check the skills, how they look, just for fun. How do they look? Where she hit? Did it awaken her yet? Okay, we can do skill preview. Skill preview it is. Okay, we have an S1. That throws a little ghostly thing towards your face. And now we have an S2. That goes into another S2. And then we can still as well. That's about all. Okay, okay. So let's actually read the skills. Um, this thing is we limit the number of harmful effects on your allies. I guess including herself. To one turn, and the beneficial effects on uh, yeah the beneficial effects on the enemy to one turn. So maybe a counter to Wusa is something I don't really know. Don't think so, but yeah, it would be better if it would just say like no beneficial effects for the enemy. That would be nice, but this is I don't know. Then we have past life, which returns something from the dead, same as Shizuka. Shizuka is also pretty bad, so. I don't really... This can be useful, but Soul Protect is legit one of the worst buffs in the game. And yeah, that's that, I guess. Then we have Burning Soul, which strips an enemy with one turn chance. And it's only 75% chance in max skill. Okay. Okay. I thought like, okay, this unit is pretty bad. This unit is pretty bad, but... Then I started actually looking at some more. And I was like, yo, does she, what does she awaken into? Like, resistance awaken would make sense, right? Or something like that, because she doesn't do anything. Like, crit awaken doesn't make sense, she doesn't do damage. Accuracy awaken doesn't make sense, because she only has one skill. So it's probably a rest lead, right? She awakens into accuracy. <laughs> There's so many dumb units that awaken into resistance. And then the unit, the only useful thing I can think of, because it's that useless by itself, that it can just be a passive, passive unit. It's just a passive totem on the field with some HP or something. But no, the passive totem needs accuracy. But we have S3, no accuracy checks. S2, no accuracy checks. S1, accuracy check. But by best case scenario, with the 15 checker of resistance lead, and it's still a 15 check off of that. So that means, like, what? You're looking at a 1 out of 3 that you're getting resistant, or it doesn't land? But it's... <laughs> okay, that's uh, an interesting one. Very interesting one. So uh, I pretty much pulled the worst family. Pretty much, uh, pretty much pulled the worst family because the whole family is not used. Legit. I don't see a single one. Shizuka was used a little bit here and there, but it's still pretty terrible. This whole family is absolute trash because, well, this is arguably the worst unit in the game still. This is the worst speed lead in the game. Um, this just doesn't really do that much. And then this one is, I think, as bad as this one. Because this one is also absolute trash. So, yeah. Pulling the worst family in the game, it seems. But I got slight hope. You know why I got a little bit of hope? Wait, where is it? Where is it? They did new transmog previews. And they're actually going to give a skin... To the worst family in the game. No one's gonna buy this. No one. Even I'm not gonna buy this. Unless you buff this unit, 
No one is going to buy this because the whole family is absolute garbage. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. The pioneers actually look cool. I might go for the pioneers strings, string harp thingies. I don't really care about that, but yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's uh, that. That's kind of an issue. But I have some hopes. We got 106 Nemesis with the Primer animation, but we're skin. Well, the thing is, you can make a skin for the light one for Seimei. She only has two skills. It still doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh man. That's the thing. Like, I've seen some people, I've seen Rose at Pool, like Narsha Nephis. I've seen Making a Butt Pool Rekdo. I've seen. Um, Thompson, Pool Recto. I have seen, um, what's it called? Philippity, Pool Artemil. Sure, not the best LD5 right now, but it is a hell of a lot better than my stuff. What do I? Sean B pulled, well, pretty much everything lately. I don't know. He pulled a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of people pull cool stuff. My last four LD5s went in order. First of all, we had a Nigong. Nigang, not gonna lie, currently is a decent to good unit, but that's just because of the S2, because the S3 is actually still kind of garbage. But the S2 buff made him that OP, but I kind of expect the S2 to be the nerf, so probably Nigang gets pretty hefty nerf on that, because Wusa just needs a kind of a nerf on the S2. In my opinion, could be wrong, we'll see what happens with the next balance buff. Afterwards, I pulled the one and only, very much storage unit, a Zongchang Lao. That's also not really something to be happy with. <laughs> Afterwards, we pulled a Garugan. Where, where are you? Garugan. Also a unit people are mostly not that happy with. Must say for arena offense right now, he is not that bad. Does kind of need some crazy runes to one-shot, but if he does one-shot, it is. Okay. What's wrong with the monkey, you ask? Uh, what's wrong with the monkey that this thing is... 60% activation rate. After resistance checks on max egg, you leave with a 50-50 if you can actually land your skills. Light monkey stuns, pushes back, puts a slow on a 100% activation rate. Like, legit. Remove this. Remove the death break, just put the stun. I, I, I'm i already fine. Give... <laughs> what? Give just... It's 60 or 100% death break. You don't even care about the death break. You legit. If I'm not mistaken, it's both 60%. It is both 60%. If I'm not mistaken, it's both 60%. But also, his whole kit doesn't make any sense. Like, some of these things do damage by HP, some of these things do damage by uh, HP. It's just overall a very shitty unit. It just doesn't work. No one uses it. If it would be good, people would use it. It's pretty, pretty terrible. And then for final, we pulled a Seimei. No, wait, that's not Seimei. Well, it looks almost as bad. Ha, I didn't awaken it yet. Seimei. Yeah. That's not really helping. This is pretty much along the line. I always say about one out of three LDs is usable. One out of three LDs is OP. And one out of three LDs are... Terrible. I kind of feel like, okay, some of those units currently got slightly buffed, like a Nigong, like a Grogan. So that makes them usable, I guess. But not that great. Like, not great at all. Closer to the terrible range, because other units would kind of do the same in same scenarios, kind of. So, hmm. Yeah, that's uh for me it's four in a row pretty much close to the trash tier or in trash uh, tr trash tier. Trash tier or in the trash tier. And yeah, of course I got Gianna, but Gianna is about 6 months back, I would say. But yeah, I pretty much pulled the worst of the LD5s that I have right now. Same. <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually kind of kind of ironic. It, it, it's a same A, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, probably, probably I uh, called this on about myself or something. Probably did, probably did, so uh, let's say I would trade same A for about every LD5 in the game. 
And I don't think it would get worse. Like legit, name the worst LB5 you can think of. I would probably trade Seimei for it. Doman, I would trade Seimei for it because at least it does something. It does nothing, but it does something. At least she has skills. Um, so yeah. I talked to someone that actually uh, has her. Jara, I would use in uh, R5. Manananan, you can still make it some kind of cleave or use it in Guild War. Tabay, you can still use it in Guild War or offense. Bison, I can't, Bison is actually not that bad. He has issues that he... Uh, what's it called? He has issues that he doesn't provoke 100%, but Bison is actually decent. Crack? I could use Crack in a special arena offense. I can think of something where I can use Crack in arena offense. But this thing... I am probably going to use it against well, Wusas in RTA, and I think I'm going to die very much. Light Demon? Light Demon is freaking OP. Of course I want the Light Demon. <laughs> What's, what are you saying, Light Demon? Of course everyone wants Light Demon. That one is OP, man. So yeah, I would uh, trade this for pretty much anything out there. But I think she will get buffed because she's getting a skin. And they are pretty much... Giving a skin to the worst family in the game. There is... Can you name a single family where the whole family is not used? Of LDs. Or no, no not of LDs. Of uh, Net 5s. Any Net 5 family where the whole family is not used. I think there's none, right? There's always some that are within the family that's decent. Uh, Jackson, yeah, I think these are pretty bad, but those are the next upcoming buffs, pretty sure. Beast Monks, they are used in, some are used in Siege. Same for the uh, Chimera, some are used in, in Siege, Sean is decent. They're not great, but at least they're kind of used in Siege. Yeah, I think pretty much every family has some that are decent. The birds, well, I guess Eludia. Yeah. That's uh this one, not the doll, so I guess they have to buff the whole family. Well, they already tried to buff you and buff you, but simple solution is if your whole family is trash, if your whole family is trash, just buff the S1. That's a very good start. Make this 100%, make this multi-hit, I don't know. But if your whole family is trash, start with an S1. Because if you actually look at the units that were called, that were trash, most of the time the whole family has a bad S1. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Random enough. Guys, thanks for watching. See you later. And I guess I'm gonna put a skin on it for just two skills. I got enough stones. I don't know. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's something. Shizuka is decent. No one uses Shizuka. No one uses Shizuka. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.